Life is made up of repeating cycles. All we do is a series of cycles. An awareness of this fact opens us up to certain truths. All of life is cycles, and an awareness of this fact is truth. But the truth there is what our lives become in the end, and in the middle, and even in the beginning. We start cycles, we fulfill them, and then we end with them. But these don't have to be essential truths to our lives in the same sense that if you're in a cycle of hatred, you're always in a cycle of hatred. See, when you are in a cycle, whether it be a cycle of love, hatred, whatever, it is Pavlovian training to continue the cycle. Each time you yell at somebody and then they yell back and you have an argument, you have reinforced in both of your heads the idea that I need to talk to them by arguing. It's the only thing that works, right? They argued back. We can only argue now. Or it makes arguing easier. Even if you don't accept it on an intellectual level, on an instinctual level, you have encouraged yourself to continue this pattern. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can change the cycles in your life just as you can change everything else about yourself. But, if you want to change these cycles, you have to be aware of them first. You have to be aware of what they are, how they exist, how they exert their influence on your life, and how you are helping them to continue. Without this awareness, these just seem like they're the part of your life. They're just normal, right? But that's the trap of a cycle, is that it does seem normal, even while it's spiraling out of control. But that's the first illusion you have to break is that the cycle is the normal behavior, or the normal way of things, or that's just how it is. That has to break first. And that is why I'm going to be doing a series of videos here talking about the various important cycles that I have noticed that seem to consume people's lives. And then I'll be talking about their counterpoints, the opposing cycle that can replace them, a positive cycle to change and convert a negative cycle. And the thing is, we all have a responsibility to change negative cycles in our lives because it's not just our lives we affect. This is the important point here. If you want to consume yourself in a spiral of negativity, well that's your choice. But rarely is it just you that ends up spiraling down. It's so everyone around you connected to you. The butterfly effect occurs here. That's how cycles spread. Through one incident of yelling at someone makes them yell at their wife or their kids or you know, you hit somebody and then they hit somebody, or you bully somebody at school and they have to push around their little brother. When you act out your negative cycles, you spread them to others, kind of like a mimetic virus, social virus, where your negativity becomes other people's negativity and they become trapped up in the cycle you have propagated. We see it in all manner of cycles everywhere, different things being perpetuated and spread on and passed. And if this is a good cycle that's being spread, a cycle of love, you know, spread by compliments and good cheer, then the butterfly effect is harnessed in a positive manner. However, if it is used to spread hatred, or lies, envy, rage, then you are just a cog in a machine spreading negativity. And I don't think anyone wants to be that. So for the first video in this series, I encourage you to be aware of the cycles that are around you and that you yourself are involved in and try to see, are they positive or negative? Are they being perpetuated without your willingness or not? And if they are or aren't, whatever the case is, do you want to change these things? Do you want to be part of a different cycle, a better cycle? And if the answer is yes, then, well, you now have something to think about.